damn it, people. You don't like sitting and watching me play video games all damn day long? Well, shit. Maybe you'll like something else then. Maybe you'll like the dream that I encountered last night. So, get this. There was a boxing match. It was the boxing match of the century. But before the boxing match begins, we have to go back. We have to go back like a couple days, right? So we go back a couple days and I come across a new group of friends. And in this group of friends, Zach Efron, okay? Y'all know Zach Efron. He's the lame guy that started the new Baywatch film that I never saw because I saw the previews and I was like, gay. So I didn't go and see it. But yeah, anyway, so I come across Zach Efron. But anyways, end up becoming good friends with this cat. So I'm good friends with Zach Efron. Go to a, a house party of his, you know? And anyways, a girl from my waking life ends up reoccurring within my dream. And it's like, oh, I'm all Twitter painted over this chick, everything like that, you know? And uh, she ends up stopping on the street one day while I was walking down the sidewalk with my new group of friends. And sits there and chats to us forever, yada, yada, yada. Well, you know, I'm all thinking, oh, she's into me, whatever. And, you know, so yeah, I'm hanging out with Zac Efron. This chick that I was into is now into me, or at least so it seems. But then, all of a sudden, there's a boxing match out of nowhere, right? And it's Zac Efron versus my dream dad. Now, when I say dream dad, I don't necessarily mean the dad of my dreams. What I mean is the dad who was in my dreams last night. You know, it's not like the dad who I would ultimately want when I say my dream dad, but this was just, for whatever reason, the dad that my subconscious assigned to me during last night's dream. So there's a boxing match between Zac Efron and my dad. And anyways, they go out there and it's like this old decrepit man, right? But then he starts talking to me about how he's a crocodile wrestler. And I was like, whoa, what the hell? And so anyways, this guy goes out there and all of a sudden takes off his shirt and he gets out in the ring and he just stands there like this, ready. <laughs> and he goes out into the middle of the ring and it's just a quick one, two, three, right to the face of Zac Efron. Knocks him clean out. And then all of a sudden, Zac Efron is no longer my friend and I go out and I'm like, damn dad, the hell did you just do, man? Why are you boxing this cat anyways? And he's like, oh, it's all for show. He's like, I, I gotta be sparring up somehow. I gotta be exercising, gotta be moving around, you know? And he's just in this boxing match. So yeah, anyways, there's that. And then all of a sudden, no longer is my dream about this other chick, it's about this other chick. It's about this fine ass Latina right who I'm having coffee with and I'm making laugh but then all of a sudden I hear Bono and Bono rings a bell to me and wakes me up California. there is no end to love whoa so I wake up to Bono and then here I am but anyways y'all want to hear something even more interesting did y'all know that the true beginnings of man are way different than what man is today. Did you know that men and women, when I say men, I mean it as something which is non-sexually classified. I just mean mankind, right? So, humankind is actually preconditioned to have stub legs. Yeah. Literally, your feet are just nubs, right? The only reason that they look like feet today, you know, is because of shoes. The feet have actually conformed 
to the technological advancement of shoes. So what I mean by that is that if we were to remove shoes from our society and our system, then humankind would evolve back to our original roots, meaning that we would back to what we originally had, which was nubs. Interesting fact. So what really needs to happen is mankind needs to accept its true destiny. And that is that ultimately mankind chooses its own destiny. Whether it be a future where everybody has nub feet because we alter our evolutionary pathway to contain such in that we change the environment as to where nub feet are ultimately the benefiting factor towards the most fit individual. Therefore, the fit individuals conform to the reality which we make and the reality which we control and the destiny which we are in control of. argue with me. It's science. Well, enjoy your morning, folks. Train your mind, now hear my words. Twitter paid a little burst. If you've kept up with all my posts, then your life's just like a ghost. Already dead in the machine, the screen and life runs in between.